All right, welcome back to hopefully uh, a, a series of, of, uh, of blogs to come uh, rather quickly, I, I hope. Uh, but uh, just a, a few more things to the collection. Um, and I should also say that this is how the collection looks right now. It is in a storage unit uh, in 72 boxes. Um, and some of those boxes are smaller, so those boxes are inside of larger boxes. So there are not like 72 boxes lying around and they are not 72 huge boxes. Some of them are very small, some of them are indeed quite large, but they are all in storage right now. I'm going to start going through those and uh, I will indeed be weaning out some of the collection, but that's all right. Um, I guess what I'm getting rid of, maybe I'm getting more of, I don't know. Anyway, so some of it's going to go away, some of it's going to stay. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of a lot of it, just things that I don't really, really, really have uh, a strong uh, connection to. So that's all right, no big deal. Um, so I was out the other day and uh, happened upon the Star Wars Insider Special Edition uh, issue, uh, Explore the Complete Saga. This is your official guide. Um, and the thing that's really cool about this is the fact that it indeed runs the gambit. Uh, we, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Episode 1, Episode 2, Episode 3, Clone Wars, it's all there. Uh, it's got some really good stuff in it. Uh, lots of pivotal points in, in each movie. Uh, you know, the man behind the monster. So we've got uh, some looks at, uh, at Stuart Freeborn. And, and I mean, a lot of like in-depth articles uh, of the people that were sort of the unsung heroes um, throughout this saga. Um, so one thing to keep in mind when you grab something like this is to look at how much it costs before you get up to the register. Uh, I knew that it was a little larger than the normal Insider. I wasn't really thinking too much about it. Grabbed it, went up, and uh, well, wouldn't you know, uh, it was actually 15 bucks instead of uh, the normal seven. But uh, it was very cool. So, you know, I've got no regrets in buying it. I was just kind of like, yeah, when I got up to the register. So that was very cool. Um, one of the things that uh, I also grabbed, I, I bought it a little later than when it first came out, but uh, the Clone Wars complete season one uh, on DVD. Um, this is awesome. Uh, again, I, I think I say everything's awesome, so I don't know, you can discount things if you want to. But uh, it really is, it's a really nice setup. It's a hard, it's like a hardcover book, uh, which I think is kind of neat. Uh, got Cody there on the cover. Uh, you open it up, you know, you've got two discs, two more discs. Um, but what's also really cool about this is it's got a small sample of the art of the Clone Wars. Um, now I've got the art of books for the entire saga, uh, starting with, you know, even the sketchbooks from A New Hope and Empire and Jedi. Um, but, you know, I, 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 was, I was on the fence about the, the art of the Clone Wars. Um, but uh, in looking through it, I mean, you've got uh, some really great sketches uh, you've got, uh, you know, absolutely amazing uh, conceptual art for hallways and, and environments. Uh, and, you know, it just, you know, this is kind of funny, you know, we've got Dr. Vindy, uh, his expressions, uh, and I think all of those are in his episode. Um, but what we have is just a really nice, uh, capturing of, you know, the, the process that goes into the CG, and as much of the process goes into that as does uh, any of the other movies. Um, 
So by them putting this little sample in here, uh, they, they really kind of did what they did with the deluxe VHS uh, release of The Phantom Menace where they had uh, excerpts in there from the art of uh, episode one. So um, I'm gonna end up buying the art of the Clone Wars um, and they get it for Christmas. Um, we'll see, I, you know, I don't know. If I do, that's awesome. If, if not, then I'll, I'll scrape together some money and I'll, I'll, go, I'll go buy it. So I, I almost enjoy the behind the scenes uh, of our saga as much as I enjoy the movies. Uh, there, there are plenty of times where I'll sit down and I'll watch the, the little documentaries, the web documentaries, all that stuff rather than sit down and watch the movie because I'm so intrigued by that and uh, you know and it, and it does shine a light on the people that are the lesser celebrities um, you know in the movies that we love. One of the things I'd like to add to the to, you know, celebrating the people that we, we don't get to see a lot of but we see their names scroll up is uh, actually a, a girl that I went to college with. I was in some classes of hers named Sherry Hitch is one of the uh, digital artists at ILM um, and she's uber fantastic so it's a little shout out to Sherry Hitch.